Well, good morning. I know I'm a minute or so early, but I'm just gonna pop on, and if anybody's with me, just give me a little hi, heads up that you're with me. Um, I'm just making sure I have everything that I need right here. I always think I do, and then you know me, I always have to find something or don't find it. But the snow has stopped in our neck of the woods. It's just light and fluffy. I don't think we got as much as I said we were gonna get, who knows. But anyway, it's New England, what can you do? We live in New England. But it's a month and spring will be here. Spring will be here in a month. It's very exciting. Have a little sip of water, have something to drink. Anybody there? Anybody there, anybody with me? I hope so. It's almost time to start, almost. And let's see, I used the stitched, what did I use here? Oh, I got that, stitch circles. Okay, it is 10 o'clock. Hi, Barbara McDuffie. How are you? How things in snowy Worcester? We, you probably have more snow than we do. Uh, we maybe, I don't know how much we got. Anyway, it stopped. It stopped. Jack's out brushing it off. Anyway, I'm so glad you're joining me this morning. And say hi to Bob. Hello, Helene. Good morning. Okay, I will make four for you, Helene. Each four of each. I'll prep them for you. Okay, let's get started. So let me show you what we're going to do today. These are the two cards that we're going to do. Now, I know I'm obsessed with the hydrangea paper. I know I'm obsessed with the chick. I can't help it. It's just me. I think they're stinking cute. So this is the first one. And, and unfortunately, I've been needing some sympathy cards. So this is what I, I uh, used a sympathy expression, um, wishing I could heal your heart. And then on the inside, so sorry for your loss. Hi, Paula. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome aboard. So this is the card and this is the envelope. And actually, Helene was the one who showed me how to do this. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then the other card is the Hey Chick. Look at how sick. And I'm going to show you how to do a wobble. Use a wobble. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at the expression on that chick's face. Wait a minute, let me see if I can get it over here so you can see much better. Look at that silly little chick. How cute is that? You know, I never really um, had a real great appreciation for chickens until my neighbor up the street decided to raise them for, um, for eggs. And they are absolutely beautiful creatures. And they've got beautiful, different, all different kinds. I don't even know where, where they're from. And their eggs are absolutely striking colors like pinks and blues and, and different earth tones. Anyway, so anyway, I'm enamored with chicks. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start. We're going to start with the uh, sympathy card first. So let me just move everything out of the way. And I'll bring this over here. Hi, Carol and Tegan. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Tegan. Tegan is my grandniece. Hi, sweetie. I love you. Auntie loves you very much. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make this card. All right, so I took Highland Heather. Here's Highland Heather, and I take my bone folder. And of course, you have to fold it in half on the score line, and then you're gonna make a nice crisp fold with this bone folder, just like that. Then the next thing I did was I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I ran it through the dainty um, diamonds embossing folder. Look at that, can you see that? I think you can see that. Let me see if I can get that. I can't get, let me see, does that make it a little bit better? Yeah. Okay, can you see the, can you see, let me tilt it just, there you go. This, good morning, Kathy. Thanks for joining in. Anyway, so I take this and I'm going to take my little silicone pad and I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive. You know, you could use either side of this if you want because both sides are very pretty. But on this one, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to have the dainty dots actually poking up. She is so excited and she says you lo she loves you too. I'm sure she has a little trouble understanding why um, she can't talk to me live, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll FaceTime after this is over. Okay, all right, so there, I put this on like this. Oh, this is a little crooked, let me fix this. How did that happen? There are no mistakes in stamping up, folks, none. 
there. That's but you know what? It's not quite better. So you know what I'm gonna do? Hi, Jean from sunny Florida. Oh, I didn't know you're in Florida. Boy, you get all over, you move all over the place. I did not know that you were headed to sunny Florida. But how nice for you. It's uh, not sunny here, but uh, it might be sunny later on. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit off with my trimmer. There, now my now this is absolutely perfect. Okay, now, next thing I did was I took another piece of the Highland Heather cardstock, and this measures actually uh, four inches by um, two and three quarters. And then I took a piece of the designer paper. The hydrangea designer paper is something that I cannot get enough of. It's hydrangeas are my favorite flower next to lilacs. I love it so much. So anyway, um, this is what I'm using. So I took a piece, and this is a quarter of an inch smaller than my cardstock. And I'm just going to layer it on like this. Look at how top easy this is, like such. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add some adhesive to this piece like this. And Tegan, I'm going to show you how to do this. When, when COVID is all over, honey, you're going to come to my house and we're going to make fun projects together. Okay, now I'm just going to cattywampus this. Cattywampus it. Maybe kitty corner is a bit. Well, it's really not kitty corner. I'm just going to put it in like that. Kitty womp, ki kitty wampus, kitty wampus, catty wampus. How's that? <laughs> then I'm going to take, um, I use layering circles and stitch circles. So I made a smaller one, I mean a larger one with the Highland Heather, and then a smaller one in the Whisper White, and what I'm in the very white, whatever the new color is called. And I'm going to take my Memento ink, and again, I'm going back to this. This is a celebration set, the Heal Your Heart. I absolutely love this. I love the font. I love the gracefulness of the um, the way the designer made these words. I think it's so beautiful. So I'm going to use that. And this says, wishing I could heal your heart. And I'm going to come in here and stamp it. I don't have to actually stamp it on my, um, my um, silicone pad, but I did. And then with a little bit of this, aha. <laughs> and then... I'm going to put a little adhesive on this and I'm going to put it right onto the circle like that. And the stitching, I think the stitching gives this just a very nice little bit of extra pizzazz. See how pretty that is? Then I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop some dimensionals on here, maybe three. Three. Dimensionals are fun, Tegan. Tegan is three years old and she's smart as a whip. She's a lot of fun. She shoveled snow yesterday at her house, and they sent me a video. It was too darn cute. Okay, here's the base of the card again, and now I'm just going to put this to the lower right-hand corner like that. Easy, easy peasy. And then I'm going to take one of these. I, you know what? To be honest, I have no clue what they're called. I'm sorry, but they match perfectly. These are little tiny flowers or little tiny rhinestones in the Highland Heather color. And look at that. And there is the card. There's the front of the card. The inside of the card, I'm going to take the message that says, um, sorry for your loss, and use a little bit of my Memento ink. And I'm just going to make sure that that is perfect. I could use my Stamparatus, but I'm not making a hundred of them. All right, sorry for your loss. There we go. Get that out of the way because you know how I how bad I am with uh, messes. I'm probably the messiest stamper on the planet. Um, yes, it does go together very quickly. Wicked fast, wicked fast. This is a wicked fast easy card. Again, these would make beautiful cards to put in a little box to give to somebody. Hi, Jen. Thank you for popping on. It's so nice to see my friends here on this very wintry day in New England, except some people aren't in New England. <clears throat> How nice to be in Florida. Okay, so that's the inside. So there's the card. Lickety split, fast, easy. This template, you could use this template for any single designer series paper you have. How easy is that? Perfect. Okay, then I'm going to show you the envelope. Now, as I said, my friend Helene showed me this. And what she and you know what? So this is the thing. 
you, I'm sure, like me, have lots of scraps of paper, designer paper. So what, if not to waste the designer paper, you can use those to incorporate them on an envelope flap. Now, the envelope flap usually is, I cut a piece that's six inches, six inches by two and a quarter inches. But these are the scraps that I had left over. This is uh, one and, uh, I don't know, it doesn't even matter what it is. It's not two and a quarter wide. And then this one probably is about three quarters of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put put my adhesive on the envelope flap as we normally do but this time I'm also going to add an extra strip right down here let me pull this down a little bit so you can see normally I just go on the perimeter because I have a piece that's six by two and a quarter so now what I'm going to do is add just an extra strip here because I want to make sure that this little tiny piece gets on so here I am I'm going to take this and I'm going to make sure that I have it right side up so that when they they have the envelope in their hand they can see the right side and I'm going to put this on first just like this and then I'm going to come in and take this now this is a corresponding piece comes in the same designer um, kit I, uh, paper and I'm just going to mat I'm going to edge it right up to the edge just like that then I'm going to take my little snipperinis and I'm just going to cut this off and then look at how pretty this is See, you don't ever have to waste any paper. It would be rare to waste a piece of paper in my house. But look at that. Look at how pretty that flap is. See the corresponding color? Can you see that? There we go. Look at that. So there's the card. There's the first card. Easy peasy. I'm glad you love it, Jean. Okay, now let's clean up this little mess and let's do the funny card. Let's go to the little chick. <laughs> okay, so here we go. First thing you need, obviously, is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Again, I've scored it and I've um, cut it and scored it. And I'm going to fold it to make sure it's exactly right. Like the last one wasn't off. It was off by a tiny little bit. So I just took my little trimmer and trimmed it off. And nobody except you guys and me know that there was a tiny little bit of an error. All right, so then I'm going to take a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. And I'm going to adhere it to the base. Um... I'm using the Bermuda Bay because this is one that is um, in the um, ombre pattern of the Celebration set, the 6x6 cardstock that you can get through Celebration. And I happen to love all of those colors. And so I decided to make this like this. Actually, this card is very... Hi, Sandy from Florida. Another person from Florida. Okay, I know it's nice and warm there. It's not warm here, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Welcome aboard, Sandy. All right, so then, as I was saying, this is the uh, package of designer series paper that you get. It's six by six, and it's the um, um, it's called Oh So Ombre, and it has these beautiful colors. It's got the um, soft sea foam. It's got Highland Heather, Granny Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, and Bermuda Bay Blackberry Bliss. So I took the Bermuda Bay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the paper here so I'm going to make sure that I have it exactly where I want it I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive oops get that dimensional out of the way a little bit of adhesive to both sides like this and I'm going to put this in now this one's going to come in just a little bit an eighth of an inch on on this top and bottom and on the left side and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make sure the ombre effect carries through so I have the lighter color on the bottom and the darker color at the top. So I'll put a little bit of adhesive on this one, like this. Okay, and then I'm going to push this right close to this piece, just like that. All right, so that's done. Now, the next thing I did was I took a piece of, um, one piece of, um, Glimmer paper. This was one of the iridescent glimmer papers that we had. I can't remember the name of it, um, but it's kind of like, it's got a little bit of gold, a little bit of orange in it. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. And what I also did was I took a piece of the Sizzix, um, the adhesive sheet, and I put it on the back of the paper, and then I ran it through the Big Shot. This is one of the framelits that comes with the Hey Chick series. So then I'm gonna take my pick-me-up tool and I'm just going to gently pull this off because you could have done it with uh, fine tip glue or you could have even done it with snail if you wanted or um, stamp and seal. But this was a lot easier because this is a tiny piece 
that needs to be adhered. And it's so nice when you get all of the adhesive right on the whole thing. Easy peasy. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this little happy birthday in the lower right hand corner just like that. Ta-da! Okay, so that part of the card is done. Now let's get to the real fun part. So here is the little chick and here is the chick in the, the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. So I took him, her, 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 stamped her in uh, Early Espresso, and then used the framelit. And here is here are all my framelits. Let me tell you, these framelits are amazing. And you know what I do, what I'm going to start doing is because normally when I have a stamp set that has a lot of framelits, I like to cut out a whole bunch of the framelits and just keep them together so that I have them on hand. So I'm going to do that later on. I thought about that this morning, but I didn't have time to do it. Anyway, okay, so here's my little chick. I think I'll put her on my silicone pad and I'm going to start coloring. Now, first thing I'm going to do is going to, I am using alcohol markers and I'm going to use the, um, alcohol marker on the, her little crest here. And I'm going to start with the dark color. This is daffodil. And I'm going to just add a little, little bit of daffodil there like that. Then I'm going to come in with the light like this and just color, bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to also add a tiny little bit of pumpkin pie, just a little smidgerini, just a little bit at the bottom like that. And then you know what? I'm going to pull this up a little bit, and I'm going to move this over so you can see it a little bit better. That's better so you can see. And now I'm going to come back with the, um, the light, and I'm going to just pull that color up a little bit. It just gives it a little bit of extra different color, coloring at the base. All right, now I'm going to take the pumpkin pie, and I'm going to color these little guys, her little feet and her hands. I don't know if they can have orange feet. Of course they can have orange feet. They could have purple feet. You, just like the purple cows. We could have purple cows. Just like that. So there's one. Oh my God, her face is so cute. I can't stand it. And then, let's see. That looks good like that. And then, oh, i got to do her nose. Like that. Per perfect. There's her nose. Now I'm going to take some soft suede. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take that up. Hi, Nancy. Just checking in. Oh, okay. Wow. His graduation at Fort Sill, so you might have to leave to watch it. Absolutely. Family always comes first. And congratulations to him and good wishes for his new future uh, working in the military and thank him for his service. All right, here we go. This one is the dock. And so what I'm going to first do is I'm just going to come in and, you know, as I often say, I like to use my alcohol markers um, and I go in one direction. I don't like to make them go in two or three directions back and forth because I think it tends to pill the paper and you get those awful little funny little marks. So I just go in one direction all the time. That's just me. You can obviously do whatever you want. But anyway, so that's that. And then I'm going to come around here, just around... Um, the, her tummy, her chest area, and just pull this dark color in like that, just like that. How's that? It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because these are alcohol markers, and they're going to blend very, very nicely. All right, so then I'm going to take the light one, and I'm going to see. Now, don't even worry about the fact that my brush, my um, my tip here is all a mess. See, it's a mess. <laughs> there you go. You can see because I cut it off. Because when I, when I uh, get to the point where it gets to be very worn and very loved, then I just cut the tip off because there's plenty of life left in it. As long as you store them horizontally, you'll get lots of life out of these. All right, there we go. See, I'm just blending it in. Blend, blend, blend. And it kind of all comes in nicely. You probably can't see it really, really well here, but in real life, there is a delineation between the dark and light, although it's subtle and it looks very nice, I think. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just do her um, hand feathers like that. Oh my God, I love to color. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I love to color. Coloring was my favorite thing in kindergarten. Mrs. McGovern, I know you know the lady's name. I've said her name a million times, but she was the sweetest lady. Oh my God, I loved her dearly. And she was so kind. Okay, there we go. So that's that. Now, oh, wait a minute. I have to do with the face. 
I'm going to do the face. But I'm going to just um, do this a little bit lightly here, just like this. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color with the pumpkin so that I can get a little bit, just a little bit. Look at that face. And this just makes her pop. All right, bringing back the pumpkin, and I'm going to add just a little bit. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to use the other end. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to do these little feathers like that. Can you see that? Good. Tegan, isn't this fun, honey? We're going to color together real soon, you and me, as soon as COVID is over. We're going to play with all of my fun things. All right, now I'm going to bring this back in and just blend that in just a little bit like that. Look at that funny little chick. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, now time for the balloon. I chose two colors for the balloon. <clears throat> I chose a balmy blue in the light, and then I took the light Bermuda Bay. Um, and so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to start with the Bermuda Bay. That's the darker of the two colors, but this is the actual light um, marker. And I'm just going to start like this again. I'm not too fussy about what I'm doing here. I don't really care because the beauty of this is that it's going to get blended. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, just like that. Then the next thing is I'm going to take my uh, balmy blue and now I'm going to start pulling that color, mixing the darker color with the lighter color like this. Just like that. And you just have to be a little patient because it takes a while but don't worry, it's all going to look nice. It's going to be very pretty. It's going to be a very festive balloon. So this week I had my second of my shingle shots. Monday I had it. And boy, was I knocked for a loop. When about an hour after I got the shot, then for the next two days I was down for the count. So now I've got a couple weeks before I have to wait for the COVID. How's everybody doing with getting COVID shots? Okay, um, okay. so there we go. There's the coloring. How's that? See, look how pretty that looks. Now, of course, you know me, we have to do some Wink of Stella. I'm going to take my Wink of Stella, and I am going to color the whole little chicky legs, everything, because I can, because I love Wink of Stella, because it just adds a little bit of extra pizzazz when they open it up, and look at how cute this is going to look. Uh, there we go. Look at how sweet that is. And then we're getting to the exciting part. We're going to show you the wobbler. So much fun. And Nancy was the one. Nancy was the one um, who got me started on the wobblers. And then Priscilla. And Priscilla, actually, this card resembles a card that Priscilla did uh, this week, I think. It's so cute. Okay, so now the chickie's done. Now I'm going to come up and do the balloon. And this is just so sweet. Look at that. It just looks like a very happy balloon. All right, now, the other thing I did was in the um, framelits is a stinking cute, adorable little tie. No luck with COVID. Yeah, we haven't either, Carol. All right, let me bring this out just a little bit. Whoops, there we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. So here is a cute little tie that goes on the little chickie. So what I did was I took some of the um, the um, the Sizzix adhesive, again, put it on the back of the paper, and then I'm going to just take my little pick-me-up tool and get this little piece off, and I'm going to put it on my little chickie. Easier said than done, folks, sometimes. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And so now I'm just going to put it right under his little chin, like so. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me move it over just a little bit. Oh, my God. It makes me happy. Look. Look at how cute that is. Look at how sweet that is. Look at that cute little chick chip with that little bow tie. How cute is that? Cute, cute. Yeah, Helene, I'm the same way. We're going to wait. There's no rush for us. Yep. Um, yes, I saw that, Barbara. You and um, Bob got yours. That's fantastic that you were able to get it. Okay, now, friends, here they are. Here are the wobbles. You can get them on Amazon, or if you do porch pickup, you'll get them, obviously, with your porch pickup. But you get their different, um, uh, um, different 
um, lots that you can get. I, this one's 48. I think you can get some that are 100, whatever. But anyway, this is how they come. And they're very much like a dimensional. So see, it's got this little spring type of an action here. It's just got this little funny little springy thing. And then it's got some adhesive here and it's got adhesive here. So again, I'm going to come in with my little pick-me-up tool and get this little piece of paper off. And you're going to put one side down. Now, what I learned last night was um, what I did on the, the uh, sample. Well, this is easier said than done. Um, what the heck? This, this worked so much easier yesterday. I mean, last night. Wait a minute. Um, there we go. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what the heck? I can't get this off. I'm having trouble. Maybe. There we go. Here we go. There we go. It's very sticky once you get it off. All right. So there's that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this on. And what I said was the one that I did yesterday, I put it on way low on the bottom. But instead, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the top part. And let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, this was going. Okay. So this has to come off. Whoops. This has to come off. Um. I did it the wrong way. Woo! The flat ring is the one that goes on the bottom so that you obviously you can get, there we go. Okay. So this is going to come right down here. Right, I mean, up here. I want it up here. Like that. Okay? And then I'm going to bring my card in. And this is all ready to go. And so then I'm going to put this little chicky right here and pop her down like that. And press for a second so it stays. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, yeah, so stinking cute it is. I think it's adorable. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. There you go, my friends. Look at how easy that was to make. So if you do porch pickup, obviously you're going to get the wobble cut like that. Now, the same thing. Now, on the inside of this, let me just show you what I did on the inside because it is a birthday card. I took the message that says, you are still a spring chicken. And this is a red rubber stamp, so I don't need to use my um, pierce pad. So here we go. I'm using Bermuda Bay, and there we go. Stamp, whoops, sorry. You didn't need to see that. There you go. You're still a spring chicken. So there is the card and the envelope. <laughs> Tegan, isn't this a funny little chicken? Look, look at how silly that chicken is. Look at <laughs> All right, now the envelope. Again, this you will get design a series paper and you will get a whole piece, um, a full piece, six by two and a quarter. So again, just a little adhesive all the way around like such. And here is my design of paper and I'm just going to pop it on like that. And with my trusty little snipperinis, I'm just going to trim this out like this. Wait to see what we're going to do next week because next month obviously is St. Patrick's Day and for all of us who are wannabe Irish people or are Irish, I've got a cute card. Anyway, there's the flap and here's the card. Whoops. So there we have it, my friends. Here are the cards for this week's porch pickup. I hope you like them. If you want any, let me know if you want them sent to you. She said yes, I'm glad. <laughs> so here we go the little chicky and the sympathy card and if you don't want a message you know if you're going to do porch pickup plus you can pick whatever messages you want um otherwise it'll be blank for you but there they are so here i am whoops there there i am again i, I pretend i can see them love okay all right so let me write this down let me make sure that i get every robin wants four of each robin Four of each. I bet some is going to be for Rachel, right, Robin? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, and let's see. Who else wants some? Uh, um, let me see. Uh, Nancy, four. You want Nancy? Uh, four for porch four. Okay. And then let me see who else. I don't want to miss anybody, so I'm just running through this just to make sure. Okay. Uh, and Helene wants four of each. All right. Four of each. And there we go. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for joining me this on this Friday day. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're staying safe. Yeah, don't panic so much about the COVID vaccine getting it. We'll all get it when we need to get it. 
Um, just stay safe, wear your mask, be isolated. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm glad you joined me. Please, please, please uh, share it with me if you um, share, share this video with your friends because you never know, somebody else might want to join us as well. So this is it for this Friday. I will see you next week. And next week, wait till you see this stinking cute St. Patrick's Day card. That'll be one of the cards that we're doing. It's so darn cute. I can't even, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It'll be a surprise. Okay. All right. I love you all. Namaste. Be good. Stay safe next week, friends. Bye-bye.